Hello there, it's the end of October and it really feels it now. This week there's been the first snow on the mountain tops and this afternoon I'd like to spend a couple of minutes showing you around this house here which is called Monomanus which is number two Vron Gallad in Traus Finnith. There's three really good things about this property, apart from the fact that it looks so pretty with its stone facade. It's on the edge of the village. The main road is about 100 yards down the hill there. There's good parking on street outside. But the best two things about this house are at the rear of it. First of all, there's a great view and a really good two-story pitch roof extension. So carry on watching. Ruby and I will show you around. Okay, Rube. As we go in the front here, you can see that it's got UPVC double glazed windows and doors. This front is a sort of south southeasterly kind of aspect, so it gets good sunshine during the morning. Then in the afternoon, you can see the sun comes round here and you get glorious sunsets right out the back. We go in the front door here, and this takes you into the entrance hall. Well, it's a lot warmer in here and that's because in here there's LPG gas-fired central heating by radiators. Inside there's a lot of pine work including the doors and architraves and the staircase in front of me. Through here we go into the big lounge dining room. As you walk into this lounge area the laminate flooring uh, extends in through from the hallway. On the left hand side you've got a view out the front and that's where you can quite easily park your car because there's not another row of terraced houses on the opposite, opposite side of the road. Up at the end of the street there you can see it's open countryside beyond the main road. At the other end of the lounge here you've got a dining area. You can see there's this big old fireplace here which has had this unit built into the sort of ingle nook area. And then over on my left there's an understairs storage cupboard and then these two doors open through to the lovely big extended kitchen which has got room for another table in here if you want to use it for dining too. So you can see just how much room there is in this kitchen. There's space for that upright fridge freezer on the left. There's a, a double oven built in straight ahead. Then there's a hob, space for a washing machine and a dryer. Eventually you come round to the kitchen sink here and the back door. Beyond the back door here, got space for yet another upright freezer and then more worktop and cupboard space here too. But actually, the real crowning glory of this kitchen is the view out the window to the north. This is the Worcester gas-fired boiler on the wall here and I promise you I'll show you out the back garden once we've been upstairs. On the first floor, there's this landing here, once again all nice pine doors. There's a big loft hatch with a retractable ladder. Up in the loft there there's also uh, a roof window which makes it light, nice and light but there's not a room or anything up there. This room behind me here is the shower room and then there's also a double sized front bedroom to my right. And then in the middle of the landing we've got this middle bedroom which is also double sized too. This middle bedroom could so easily have just been a box room but they've very cleverly put this big Velux window up in the loft to make it perfectly livable. But at the back of the house this is the room that everybody's going to be fighting over. It's right above the kitchen dining area so it's really good size. It's got all this built-in storage space behind me. Another cupboard here on my right as well which I've just broken I think. But the main thing is there's so much space in here. Not only is there room for the double bed, they've got a sofa and a chair here. And the reason for that is because this picture window out the back here is the best view of the lake you can imagine. All the sheep are in the pasture in the foreground. We've got the moil winds on the right hand side there and it's looking glorious today. So out the back here you can see the mountains of Slodonia over there to the north. The sun is over here and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. So in the summer it was set right over there but this evening it's probably going to be just setting over the Prinog Mountains in that direction. Now the great thing about this row of terraces is that about, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago, something like that, they all managed to get together and they bought a bit of the field out the back. So everybody's got an extended bit of land beyond their original garden here and that's why this gate is here. Come on Rube, let's go through here. Come on then. 
So this lower area here means that um, you've got probably oh, two or three times the length here and it's all been paved over. Now bear in mind that this planning on this area is probably not for gardens so that you would have to make inquiries with the planning um, people if you need if you wanted to put anything like a shed up or anything here you might not be able to but there's a rear ac a pedestrian access gate at the bottom and this uh, table they've got here is a fantastic place to sit out, enjoy the sunshine and just soak in the views to the distance there. From the, down the bottom here as well, get a really good view of the extension at the back. Not only is it two storey and got a really good pitch slate roof on it, but they've even gone to the trouble and expense of making it stone faced. Well it's been very nice to come out here and show you over to Von Gallad this afternoon. I shouldn't think there'll be too many more sun sunny afternoons like this left this year so I'm glad that we seized the opportunity. If you're interested in coming around and having a look yourself or you'd like a video like this to sell your own property please give me a call on the usual number which is 01341 281 599. I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby and thanks very much for watching. We hope to see you up here soon. Bye bye now.